What's going on guys? Bang Ligon here coming back at you with another video today. Back with the creators FM franchise, whatever. We're playing Lights Out today, aka Madden Daily. If you guys are not subscribed to Madden Daily, really nice guy, other than the fact that he's a Jet fan. But if you guys are genuinely interested in getting better at the game, his link will be down at the description. Just find where it says Lights Out or Madden Daily or something like that. I'll try to get it near the top. Uh, but if I forget, you're just going to see the list of everybody in the franchise. But make sure, go subscribe to Madden Daily, Lights Out. He's such a good guy. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting him a couple times. But he's also a lot better than me. He's very good at Madden in general. I know on Madden 17 especially, he was a tank. I don't know if he's great at Madden 19, but he's certainly going to be a lot better than I am. So I am excited. Can't wait for that. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a disaster. All right, we got home field advantage, which isn't an advantage. This is Madden. Let's relax. We are at Heinz Field, though, and I have just brought out the most disgusting uniforms I could find. Basically, the Bumblebees uh, from the front. And as you guys know, with the one-bar Warriors on defense and the pad height is absolutely ridiculous for players. My numbers <laughs> are all over the place, depending on what players we talk about. So, it's going to at least look hilarious when I'm getting my ass kicked. I was right. It looks absolutely hilarious still to me every time I see them. It's been a, about a week or two since I last saw them, but they look hilarious. And Bilal Powell has nowhere to go. He also has Andrew Luck and uh, some other guys, maybe. Probably some other guys. <laughs> he just DMs me. He's like, why do your guys look like zombies? <laughs> uh, this is the One Bar Warriors. Welcome to the show. Oh, check down city. Shout out to Madden 19. There's the check down open, but Quan Alexander is going to wrap up. Might be a game where we have to play hard flats a lot, but it looks like uh, he'll punt, maybe? I don't know if he's going to play this sim at all. I'm going to guess probably not. Oh, definitely not. Great. All right, he's going to punt. Cool. All right, second and 11. Let's cut it right back up the middle. I don't know how we got that shed, because that looked like the correct hole to hit. Didn't get it. All right, not a great first pass from Josh Allen. His user's pretty good. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough game, but um, we're gonna punt the ball away on fourth and six after doing nothing offensively. Big shocker there. Nope. But I also can't get back there. And somehow that pass is caught. And he's still breaking tackles. Andrew Luck four for four, 21 yards. That's like a a five yard yards per attempt, which would be near the bottom of the NFL. Five yards per completion would be at the bottom of the NFL. Pretty much tell you that. But uh, the run game's been super effective, and somehow nobody wrapped up there. That's a sack! By none other than Khalil Mack! And we're actually not going to allow a touchdown. So we're only going to lose maybe by 3 nothing. Nah, he's going to score more. That's probably a given. There we go. It's Garrett Selleck. What a beast. Josh Allen's on the board. Josh Allen looking sharp, per usual, in that 97 jersey. Purchase him on NFL.com. There he is. Kenyon Drake. Very close to the first down marker. He's not going to get it. And so we're going to punt. I love punts. Hey, we sure look good out there for those three plays. Can't take that away. Down at the 13. That's what we do, baby. Coffin corner. Quandre Diggs, unfortunately, is wearing number 28. And his pad height is at a normal level. You hate to see it, but it is what it is. And finally, we have an incompletion. Andrew Luck, 7 for 8 for like, I don't know, 8 or 9 yards. We're doing all right. Big third down, though. He's probably going to convert this. Ah, it's open. I tried to take that away. But, uh, nah, he, he stayed through it. Find the open man. It's a good throw. That's a good sack. DeForest Buckner. And uh, I'm not going to call a timeout because I don't think I can score with 20 seconds anyway. So we'll just go down 6-0 uh, at the half. I think that's more than fine. We're going to run. Josh Allen. Beautiful. 16 yards for our longest play of the day. There we go, Kenyon Drake. I love it. Oh, Kenyon Drake stays on his feet because he's going for the football. All right, I'll take third and one. That's manageable. Oh, almost thought that was going to be user pick. Couldn't quite get there in time. But it is third and five. A stop here would be huge. Fourth and two. We get another punt off. 
which is cool. I like being punted the football. That's like my favorite. And uh, we got a decent return, maybe. With Dwayne Harris, couldn't really hit any of my holes. Not the first time. <laughs> I'm sexually frustrated. Oh, Kenyon Drake up the middle. Oh, I don't know if he got the first down, actually. That was real close. Oh, it is. Okay. We're going to roll out. Throw across our body. <laughs> and almost find Kenyon Drake. It's an unorthodox style. But he keeps setting fire zone, too, and I don't have a ton of time. Oh, we might have something here in that right side of the field. What are you doing? Uh, that pressure's too much. I'm not going to punt here. Because it doesn't make sense to. Because I'm down by six. And this is midfield. Only two yards. We got to get this somehow. And, uh, okay. Wow. We got Goku playing tight end. Who caught the ball and then shoved it as hard as he could to the sideline. Yeah, we faced some pretty big heat there. Uh, obviously, I don't convert. I don't really know what to do against a good defense, it appears. That's a sack. Oh, my goodness. That was locked up somehow. We got lucky. Not a great punt. We're going to have four minutes to again score no points. It's going to be awesome. Let's see how we do it. All right, we're going to punt the ball here. I know it's only fourth and eight, but we're from the 22. It doesn't really make sense. We got to get field positioning. And what a punt again. He's not out of bounds there. That's going to be less of a great punt. I've been juked out. What are these six skills, lights? Chill. 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 <laughs> Third and nine with the game on the line. Like that rhyme. Uh, the game's over unless I block the kick, which I can tell you I won't. Yep, right down the middle. And we have 57 seconds and no timeouts to score nine points. I, I don't think it'll happen. All right, let's see if we can get on the board. I'm going to say probably not. That's a great use of the one cut. We lost a yard. Oh, and more pressure. My left tackle doesn't own up. It's Tony Palapoy with the sack, and he's still running fire zone. Up nine with 40 seconds to go. Fire zone two, nice. And there's an interception because I got fucking blitzed again. Uh, he's not going to score, although he'd probably like to. Harold Landry, what do you run that time? Five-man cover three blitz? All right. And it is the knee. We're going to lose 9 nothing, but that's the way she goes. I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Madden Daily for all types of Madden tips and things of that nature. I'd very much appreciate if you would subscribe to them. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you uh, for my next home game at some point. I don't know if I'm going to upload away games from now on. Probably... Probably just for home games. I'm not sure. Anyway, make sure to check out Madden Daily. That's been it for me. I got 12 yards passing. It was a treat. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. And uh, we got a decent return, maybe. With Dwayne Harris, couldn't really hit any of my holes. Not the first time. <laughs> I'm sexually frustrated.